Hey there, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to get the perfect wave from the beginning. So something I've been asked or told a lot is that you keep seeing, or that girls keep seeing tutorials on how to do waves, but it's like too fast or like they assume you already know. So this video is gonna be like waves for beginners. We're gonna focus on the technique, we're gonna focus on strand by strand and how to actually get the perfect wave, not so much the finished look. I want you to really get the feel of how to actually do the motion, how to do it, and how to get that perfect wave. So before you say anything, before you say, oh my gosh, no, your hair is super short, it won't work for me, this is the same technique that works no matter your hair length. This is the same technique I used to use when I have long hair, which was last year. It's recent, <laughs> my haircut has been really recent. So this technique works for everybody. Okay, next is we're gonna do the basic, kind of like loose wave. This is not gonna be curls. Curls are actually easier. Curls are just like, you just curl it and you're done. So this is gonna be that loose, kind of like flowy, soft, straighter wave. That's the one I've been told girls are struggling the most just to get that perfect like motion with your hand. Okay, so let's get started. First off, tools. I wanna break it down. First thing you need to do when trying to style your hair is have the right tools. Doesn't matter really what you go for. Um, it's not so much about price or anything like that. For me, I highly recommend going with a ceramic plated curler and size. The best size, I wanna say like the universal size, no matter how long or short your hair is, is the one and a quarter, one or 1.25 barrel. So we're going to be using actually T3 Micro. I love T3 Micro. I've worked with them in the past. This is not sponsored. I They did not ask me to do this video. I just want to do it. And I highly, highly recommend their tools. So this is actually their convertible base. It's called convertible because you can buy different size barrels and just play around with your favorite size. The one and a quarter. So 125. Lock it and we're gonna heat it up. If you're wondering about T3, they have five heat settings and it's five is really intense. So I use it max three, two or three, we're gonna use it at three today, but no more than three for fine hair. If you have super thick, you know, hard to style hair, then you can go a little bit higher, but I wouldn't recommend. I would start with the lowest and then go up. And it heats up pretty quick. Next, sectioning. I really don't section my hair as much, but if you feel like you want more control, like you have, maybe you have a lot of hair, a lot of long hair, um, you can section off. My tip is always start from the back because if you start in the front, you know, you curl this side and then everything starts getting mixed up. So for sectioning, I'm not really gonna section today just because I have shorter hair and I wanna focus more on each strand of motion. But if you wanna section, you can either section in four, so half, and half. So basically split your head in fours. This is ready, oop my dress. This is ready. So first off, you wanna grab pieces in a vertical section. This is really important because I used to do this a lot. I would grab pieces just like that and this is the perfect piece if you're straightening your hair. If you have a straightener, you just go like that and that's perfect. If you're going for the these like looser waves, you want to grab a vertical piece. So maybe a thinner piece, maybe kind of like this, so that you can actually wrap like this, not like this. Okay, hope that makes sense. I know I said that usually I start with the back of my head, but I want to show you the actual wrapping process. It doesn't really matter how big the piece is, the smaller your section you're working with is, is gonna give you more waves, more like, more dimension. So the more uh, small strands you get, you get more of that, more definition, more dimension, more individual waves. If you get larger strands, you might get over quicker, but you are gonna have to hold the, the curler in there for a little bit longer. Okay, next up, the wrapping. I think that's, that's one of the issues you might be having, so. You can see it's round, I'm team clip. It's a lot easier for me for the kind of wave I like to do. So you always start, you clip it. The clip is actually to the front. Always, always, always leave, I don't know if you can see it, a little tip hanging out here. And always wrap with the shape of the curl. So if you see this, never wrap like this always wrap with the shape of the clasp, clamp, clamp, yeah. The wrapping, if you are not 
super beginner, you might be able to do it with one hand and just twist your wrist. This part of the curler does not get hot, so you can kind of hold it a little bit. If you are a beginner, you can always do both hands and wrap it up. Next, I personally do not like to go all the way to the top because if you go all the way to the top, you get a little bit of a bump up here. So you wanna go maybe, wait, the, there you go, like halfway, leave it on for a little bit, and then here comes the trick of the release. So, you let it go once. I like to twist it once, see how I'm turning? Once or twice, then once it's only holding on to that little strand, you pull down. Okay. I can see it. I wish I still had highlights. I feel it would be a better definition, at least for me in the camera. Okay, so this is what you get. I'm gonna do a couple more just for the front so that we can move on. Another tip. In my opinion, always, always do your curls to the back in the front of your face. I would always do them backwards because if not they start falling on your face on your eyes I personally do not like how it looks on my face so always to the back okay so we're gonna do this again so twist once or twice and pull down okay I don't really have bags but I have these kind of like frames so we're gonna do the same thing with it I leave it a lot less on here I just don't like it to be too too defined to Curly, I guess. Okay, one, just one twist, and down. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now that you do this, after that you just brush it. You can do it with a with a brush or anything, with just your hand. I mean, it's your fingers. After you let it cool for a little bit, I usually do this at the very end. Once you've done your whole hair, let them cool so it actually holds a curl. And then, that's it. You see? Okay. This isn't done. <laughs> Maybe I should have uh, sectioned off. There you go. Okay. Next, another tip I want to share is I've heard the comment that some girls have trouble holding their curls. So here's a little trick. If you have a really straight, heavy hair, I would avoid blow drying your hair or smoothing it out with a brush and a blow dryer. Let it air dry as natural as possible. Scrunch up your hair, give it that texture, give it that volume. Because if you don't have curly hair, you have very little frizz to hold curls. So what you want to do is actually leave as much frizz as possible. If you have very curly hair and you want loose waves, you can actually blow dry, smooth it out with a hair dryer, and then start over. So just different, just get, just figure out what kind of hair you have. Of course, if you have like a keratin treatment, things like that also. So what I do when I get a keratin treatment and I wanna do my waves and I want them to hold, I let it air dry, kind of scrunch it up with kind of like a styler, not a heavy styler, maybe like a heat protectant, and let it dry. So that will let it dry with maybe kind of like a little bit more shape. I have no care to treat me right now. <laughs> and my hair is naturally wavy, curly, um, hence picture of me as a child, very curly hair. Uh, but yeah, so just keep in mind that if you have, if, if you struggle with holding your curls, do not blow dry, do not straighten your hair before curling it. Just let it air dry as frizzy as possible. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna continue doing my hair and do a couple more strands slowly so you can see the twist. So here's another before. I should explain it. Um, okay, we're gonna grab another hair. To get more dimension, to get more volume and everything, you can add some different directions. So you clasp it on the other side. Now the clasp is in the back, but you still twist with the shape of the curler. So always, there you go. Same technique, twist and pull. So that one is facing forward. Okay, so again, the clasp direction, it might not, you might not be able to see it. So if you see the clasp like that, you always wanna turn, kind of like wrap it around the inside and not on top of the clasp. Make sense, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense. But okay, let's do a couple more here 
and then we'll just speed it a little bit and so you don't get tired of my voice. <laughs> down with a little strand there wrap it leave maybe this is like what two or three fingers up here a little bit twist once or twice and there you go the more you twist the tighter you're gonna get it so here we're gonna try with this just want you to see the difference it really depends on what you want the finished look to be like so if we twist more, that's once, twice, let's do one more, three, same, pull it down, you're gonna get this tighter, but still straighter curl. It might actually work, three times might actually work. Here's a reason why I always pull, we're gonna do another strand as an example, why I say curling is a lot easier. So basically, if you were just to do basic curls, which don't look that good on me. I just feel like Shirley Temple. I feel like Goldilocks and my hair is short, so it just makes it shorter. So, but you would go all the way to the top, let it basically sit on your head. And, okay, okay. And then instead of pulling down, you would just release. And you get more volume. If you have no volume and you struggle to hold your curls, you could do this. I just like this kind of wave a lot better. Okay, so let's do the whole thing. I need to get ready, so might as well. If when you have short hair, I think I've mentioned this before in other videos, you don't really have to worry so much about the bottom part of your hair because it doesn't show in the front. When you have longer hair, your hair kind of like falls to the front so you can actually see the hair underneath it. So that's why you take a little bit longer. Okay, that's pretty much it. Let me check. Yeah, so you can spray it out with your fingers. It's kind of like that. And then you can use whatever you prefer. It can be a texturizing spray. I personally love when I do my waves like this. I would rather have them super soft. So if you want them to hold, then you can do a texturizing spray and just kind of like give it a little bit more. I am gonna use right now, this is Virtue Labs, one of its newest products. It's their healing oil. It's amazing. So you can use it wet or dry. So I'm just gonna apply it. Apply a little bit right now. You have to actually shake it to activate it. And two pumps. And voila, well, we are done. I really hope this is helpful. Hope, hope you finally get the waves you want and it actually helps your technique. Let me know if you have any other questions, if you want to learn any other hairstyles, 
And I hope you like this video. If you like this video, you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, blah, blah, blah. And you can always share your, follow me on social media. I hope to see you there. Bye.